Good morning, Modern Steaders. We got our milker with us this morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're back to our normal New Hampshire summer weather. Lows of 50s and highs of 80s. I like it. Sweatshirt in the morning and at night. Looks like we gotta put more hay in the feed or two after. Yeah, they ate it all. Oh, good morning. Oh, guys, late last night, I shouldn't say late, it's probably about 8.30ish, I was hearing a crying in the house and it wasn't a normal goat blatting. So I ran down here, I had to take down the hay feeder Buttercup had her head stuck in it and she was kind of hanging. So, whew, luckily, we were home and we were able to catch it. So, that hay feeder won't be going back up till they're like full grown almost. Or that buttercup's the same size as Blossom right there. You missed it, Libby. You were sleeping. Mm -hmm. I heard you say something last night. You did. Watch out. There you go. Yeah, I don't know how Buttercup did it, but she was like a, in the top, like hanging her feet. She was hang, hanging off the ground. It wasn't good. Or it wouldn't have been good if we weren't home. No. So I don't know if she stood on top of a goat on Blossom or something to get up that high and then Blossom moved or I don't know. Like, I want to get every last bit of chaff hay in here. Oh, and I also heard that goats aren't grazers. So they don't really go down and eat the grass. Yeah, they don't like to go down and eat the grass, do they? Yeah. They're happy with their hay. Oh, get right in there. How are you doing this morning, sausage and links, huh? You find some good grubs? Looks like you found a spoon in there. Yeah, you got a spoon. That's crazy. It's not one of our spoons. Where are you coming from, mister? Huh? What have you been out doing? Huh? Did you find any mice or voles or something? Or some chipmunks? I need to get New York City, our big mobile chicken coop, out here and get these chickens in it and free ranging more. I think they'd like it. The one lone turkey is doing good. Ah, oh, mister. Keep it up. You better leave him alone, mister. What do you think? You want to go for a ride? Surprised you're staying on this long, mister. Oh, see ya! Yesterday we made our first batch of goat cheese and right here is the leftover whey from making it. Let's see how the pigs like it this morning. Girls ready? Smells good. Is that some good stuff?
course they got a stand in it too. Huh? I guess I'd call that a success. We get some nice goat's cheese and they get some nice whey liquid to drink. If you guys didn't have a chance to see yesterday's video, I'll put a link to that right here. All right, let's call our buddy Josh, the Stony Ridge Farmer, and find out how he gets his goats to stay inside his electric fence and what he's using. I'm gonna put a link to his channel right here. If you haven't checked him out, he's a great guy. Hello? Morning, Josh, how we doing? Good. Good, this is, this, this is Al. Is this the Stony Ridge Farmer? This is the Stony Ridge Farmer. So what's going on? I know you emailed me about uh, the, the fencing I put with my desk the other day, or uh, are you considering using some of that electric poultry netting? Yeah, we got, we got three Nigerian dwarf goats and we got them in a regular pen in area. I want to be able to let them out in our old apple orchard and have them clear the brush. And we got them out in a poultry netting, but we haven't electrified it yet. And they keep trying to test their boundaries. So I want to know how you got your goats trained to your fencing and what you're using. You look like okay. you got a pretty sweet setup over there. And what we're using is the Premier One fencing. Uh, it seems to be the best stuff out there. That, that works the best for us. If we uh, if we don't energize the fence, then you are looking for trouble. You are looking for uh, goats to get hung in it and possibly lose their lives. We actually uh, lost a baby goat this year um, due to him getting his head caught in the fence. And the fence oh. was not energized. And for some reason, it had, it had gotten turned off and maybe not turned back on. So Yep. There is what's called the IntelliShock 60 Energizer. Yeah, we use that. We use that one for our chicken. So the same one works with the yeah, goats same, too. Awesome. Same one works for the goats. That thing is super cool. All right, Josh. Thanks for the phone call and reaffirming kind of what I already knew. Your farm's looking great. I think it's awesome. We're doing. I think a lot of what you're doing on your farm, but on a smaller scale. Very. We have eight acres, and you have what? Two hundred acres. Yeah, we're we're just a little over 190, so pretty close to 200. Uh, very, over, very, very, very overwhelmed. And you're clearing a lot of your land, putting in pasture, making ponds and stuff like that, right? Yeah, so we what we bought was an old abandoned tobacco farm. We keep having this one broody hen that goes broody and then doesn't sit on the nest and then goes on it, breaks the eggs. It's driving me nuts. I've been dealing with it for a few weeks now. So now I'm going to do something about it. Broody hens are usually not nice, see? But she keeps jumping around and breaking the eggs. So we're going to keep her in here, hopefully within a couple of days. We'll break the brood. She's going to have water and food, but no bedding. And she's going to be by herself. All right, honey. You stay in there and break that brood so we can start eating more of our own eggs. Olivia wants to try flying the drone some more. And I'm going to be using the tractor. You ready for this? Yeah.
bought you a present and it's kind of pink. You, my love. I bought you a present, my love. And it's pinkish. Purple carrot. It's not pink. It's close. As close as I could get to pink Dragon. for a carrot. Dragon. Dragon carrots. You got it. Vibrant purple skin with orange flesh. Unusual yellow core and spicy yet sweet flavor. We can plant them tomorrow. Oh, so why do you mean? I just wanted to show you the nice present I got oh. for you. No, 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 no. I'm gonna plant it. All right, girls, you ready to try this goat cheese? Yeah. Okay, walk up my cheese. Like new ones with like bigger holes. Well, maybe it's like they shrunk the crackers. And they made bigger holes. I don't think they're bigger. I'm pretty sure they're I was gonna say, to me, it has no flavor. It's good, but hold on, I just wanna take some Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us today while we create our farm life. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow. We'll be in the garden. We'll be hopefully letting the goats out, electrifying the fence, getting them out on pasture more. I think there was something else that I can't remember. I'm sure Olivia will be flying the drone, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.